amount of money to come out. That's what I mean. I don't want to deal with this. It's too much. I hate dealing with stuff like this. I hate drunk people. The nigga, he starting fights. He arguing with a nigga over there. Security come. You got to go. Any regular nigga, if I got to go, I got to leave. I'm finna go. I, I did too much. It's time for me to go. Instead, this nigga want to argue with the security guard. This nigga want to fight the security guard. Security guard, whoop his ass. Now you getting your ass whooped. You want to feel some type of way. Go run to your car. And that whole situation right there was dumb to me because why would y'all let that nigga go to his car, man? Why would y'all let the nigga go to his car and do what he's supposed to do? Y'all supposed to stop that nigga from going to his car because, like, we in the club. You know, don't nobody know what's going on with that nigga outside but the security. We in the club. We in the club. Y'all let the nigga go to the car. I knew it was some bullshit when I see the security running in the building. Why the fuck y'all running in the building? Y'all running in the building. Y'all supposed to be securing us. Y'all running here. I'm like, what the fuck going on? Two seconds later. Bullet fly past my face. Glass fly past my face. Almost died. I literally saw the bullet fly past my face. We on the ground. We on the ground. Uh, I'm on the ground. My manager. I'm making sure my manager good because that's who I was at. I'm I'm in the front of the, by the front door. That's what I'm saying. Like I'm by the front door. So I'm sitting down like this. This is literally the glass that you see through the front door. So that nigga opened that door and aimed at me. He shot this way. We get on the floor. He come in through the door. He's shooting people that ain't got nothing to do with nothing. This is a nigga from Champagne. This not no nigga from 13th and Pulaski. This not no ops that's just around because people like, oh yeah, you was on 13th and Pulaski. This nigga not from here that came and did that. You have to realize the type of the type of power that we have to, to people that want to see us and come from any other city, come from any states, because it was niggas in there from Oklahoma. It was people coming up to me and telling me, that, oh, yeah, I love you, Skin Bone. I came all the way. I came all the way from St. Louis to come to this party. So it's not it's not Chicago. It's not the environment that you're in. It's always just that one goofy drunk. Everybody got that one goofy drunk in their family. That nigga was just happened to be there. So instead of you taking your anger out, on, on who who whooped your ass? One of them security guards that whooped your ass. You come and shoot the shoot the party. You shooting girls. You sh you shoot my homie in a wheelchair. You shot Uncle Hank, and you was sitting up here dick riding Uncle Hank when he was there. But then you that's one of the first niggas you shoot is Uncle Hank. Like it's just it's just goofy shit. Like it's it's it's, it's real goofy, and I don't like how my name is getting blamed for that because. I'm skin bone, and now oh yeah, skin bone. You wild as hell, you bogus. I have nothing to do with that. Nothing to do with a goofy in the party. I have nothing to do with that. So I wish y'all stopped saying that. I don't got nothing to do with that. I can't control him. That's a grown man. And mind you, the nigga like 50. The nigga like 50 years old. You would think that this a kid doing it. This is a grown, this a granddaddy. It's a granddaddy. Like... A, a granddaddy, like you, gray hair, like come on, you you old and said, what you doing, bro? I'm just saying, bro, that that is just crazy. Like you know, seeing people you love get hurt. Like when I got up and D Brown, like man, bro, I'm hit. I'm looking at his arm bleeding and see, he. I'm I'm trying to make sure everybody cool. You know, everybody like skin bone. Leave. Ain't that we get up? Sleeping late, my horse will stay up